So guys, today I'll be sharing with you my most favorite perfume discovery of the month. So please keep on watching to find out more about it and feel free to share with all of us your most favorite monthly perfume discovery. And also, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching these episodes and links to the previous ones you'll find down below in the description box. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are here for the first time because I would love to have you back and once you are done with that, we can get started with my most favorite perfume discovery of March 2021. and welcome to this monthly episode that I love to film for you because they allow me to reflect on everything I've been smelling during the month and choose number one favorite. And today it's gonna be from a French niche brand that is new to me, but it is not new on the market because Fab Perfume was founded in 1884, which means it has been around for almost 130 years, and that is pretty impressive. So I'm lucky to have an experience with all four fragrances from their range, and I will review my most favorite, not only from their brand, but um, of entire months for you in a second, but before we get into it, I would just love to read you the story of this brand because it is pretty fascinating. So let's get started and it's the summer of 1884. A traveling circle rolls into grass, France. In the circus there is a Russian dancer, Anna Karpova. Francis, a local aristocratic, sees Anna and falls in love. Francis' whole life is about to change. Years of struggle lie ahead for the idealistic Frenchman who is about to sacrifice everything for love. Antoine Blanc, a master perfumer, took Francis under his wing. Francis' perfumes proved incredibly popular. Francis made enough money to set up on his own. In 1888, Fab Perfume was born. Fab wasn't just about selling incredible perfumes, it was a way of fighting back against injustice and the industrialization of the perfume industry. Workers would be paid fair wages and work fever hours. Profits would be used to help educate the workers' children. The business and Le Club proceed serenely until the advent of the Second World War. Francis decided to mothball the perfumery and went off to serve as an officer. Not only did he serve, Francis was also decorated for bravery, being awarded the Medal d'Honneur per Acte de Courage et de Vermont. I'm very sorry for my French pronunciation. Anyway, after whirlwind romance, Francis married Anna. Francis' father disapproved of the marriage and disowned him. Shunned by his family and the local aristocracy, Francis and Anna were penniless and homeless. Francis made ends meet by working as a laborer for a local farmer. Fearlessly determined to rebuild his life, Francis spent his evenings working as a perfumer's assistant. Fair was a huge hit with French high society. Having regained access to the upper echelons of society, Francis was intent on using his connections, influence and financial muscle to advance the two causes closest to his heart, workers' rights and protecting traditional perfumery skills. In 1895, Francis established Le Club 1888. This was a perfume connoisseur's private member's club. It became the only place where people could buy Francis sought after scents. Membership was exclusive and limited. Since 1988, Fab Perfume has been led by Francis' grandson, Philippe. Himself a master perfumer, Philippe takes personal charge of designing new perfumes for the club members and scores the world for new and exotic ingredients. Philippe took over from his father, Jean Honor. And in 2020, a brave new world began. The Sharia family and the members of Le Club decided that this was the right time to remind the world what an incredible thing a handmade perfume can be. After 130 years, the doors of Le Club were pushed ever so slightly ajar. So, isn't that most fascinating story ever? I highly recommend you to visit their official website for more information and also beautiful pictures. But today, we are going to chat about their perfume that is called 
Bijou. I might mispronounce its name, so please excuse my French and feel free to correct me down below in the comments, but here is this lovely bottle that would be so pretty on a dressing table. But I can tell you that this is not a simple perfume, although it might seem like that when you first spray it on, but oh my god, just let it develop on your skin. In the opening it is pretty sharp. It opens up with very spicy scent and that's probably because there is cardamom and black pepper in there, which I can smell. There is beautiful lively citrusy note going on, but the spiciness is definitely what you can smell the most. And I won't lie, it's a pretty daring opening, but oh my goodness! As it dries down, it becomes the most sophisticated fragrance ever. And you know what? It's so well blended, you cannot really pinpoint the notes. Although I know there is jasmine, violet, styrax, cedar wood and sandalwood, as well as patchouli, but it is not about the notes. I could describe it as a spicy floral scent. It reminds me of flowers, pink in color, but you know, those are not only delicate flowers, those are flowers with some cardamom powder on top. So this is definitely a fragrance that a woman will feel beautiful and confident with. It's a friendly everyday perfume, but it is special enough so you can wear it when you're going out and you know it's pleasant and it performs well so you will be noticed with this fragrance and at the same time you will stand out because it is unique and it might remind you of fragrances from the past you know back in the days when perfumes were created with character, so I would definitely recommend it to all the women who are looking for a signature scent because it quickly became mine. And it's just a very interesting fragrance because you know you cannot really tell what's inside, it's quite abstract, and I like how wearable it is, and also that it makes me want to wear it over and over again. And although I test many different perfumes, this is the one that stood out to me the most. I reach out for it on the everyday basis, I get compliments for it, and I feel myself very good with this perfume. So I do like a couple of others from this brand, and let me know if you would be interested in my review on them. Go ahead and let me know if you've ever heard of this brand, and maybe you have experience with some of their perfumes. And if not, please let me know if you would be interested in checking them out. This is the one I can recommend you. It's like a very powerful, passionate kiss, not just an innocent one, although it might seem like that. So, you know, this is fragrance with many different facets and I do like it a lot. So that was my take on Bizu, very daring kiss in a bottle. And let me know how you find this video. I hope you like it. And if so, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be looking forward to your comments and I try to describe you this fragrance as best as I can. But if there are any questions left, please ask them below and I'll get back to you. And if you want more content from me, follow me on my social media. Links are going to be below. And if you want to support my channel, go ahead and donate on Buy Me Coffee website. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other in my next one really soon. Bye!